Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic, and today we're going to be doing some suspension experiments. Now, a couple days ago, I built this car out of suspension, and it got me thinking that uh, the game is handling suspension a lot better than I thought it was going to be, considering how much of these flexible pieces we have all stacked up on top of each other. Obviously, our frame rate isn't ideal right now, but we're not frozen, and uh, <laughs> that's honestly more than I was expecting with a car like this. So I was thinking, if the game can handle a car like that, how far can we really push Scrap Mechanic when it comes to suspension? So there are three different suspension experiments that I want to do. The first one is probably the quickest to test. I want to try to bend the suspension on the axis that it does it is not designed to flex to see if that's possible in Scrap Mechanic because in Trail Makers, I've actually built projectile launchers based off of that concept alone. But I don't think Scrap Mechanic treats suspension the same way as Trail Makers. So the second test I wanna do is actually Actually a modified suspension glitch because as we all probably know if you take suspension like this and then you hook it up into a steering bearing and uh, steer it, it gives this effect but what happens if we extend this so we have a much longer series of suspension um, is it going to make it stronger or is it going to be weaker because it's distributed across a longer area I don't know I don't know what to expect with that and then the third experiment, speaking of longer, is um, I just want to make the longest piece of suspension this game will let me just by literally stacking suspension on top of suspension on top of on top of suspension. Because, yeah, I just want to see how far up I can make that go uh, before the game starts lagging out. And then seeing that giant column compress like this, I think would be hilarious. All right, but first things first, uh, can we bend suspension along the axis that it does not want to bend naturally? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment of truth. I've got both of these bearings hooked up to, into the controller that is programmed to move this bar 90 degrees in this direction like a mouse strap. And we're gonna see if it's capable of bending these things. So just a reminder, here's what it looks like in Trail Makers. All right, now I've got an explosive on here. Let's see how this thing flings up with that explosive. And here is what it looks like in Scrap Mechanic. Oh no, oh no, oh it just... <laughs> of course it just creates a suspension glitch. We need to weld this to the ground. We need to give this, we need to take away the suspension glitch capabilities because we're we're not testing the suspension glitch right now. All right, what happens if it's welded? Okay, so you can clearly see it's trying, but the suspension here, it's just not giving pretty much at all. Here, you know what'll be even better? Let's try to use an electric engine. Electric engines have lots of torque. So now we should have control. There we go. You can see we're controlling this. So if you go in, no impact. No impact whatsoever. All right, let's see. Can we do anything to move this suspension? Let's try pistons. All right, so now these pistons are programmed to go maximum distance, 15 blocks in that direction, pushing against uh, this thing along with the controller trying to push the bar as well. So, uh, let me just hook this up into the seat because it'll be easier to see. All right, in three, two, one, go. Oh, we're getting, we're getting some movement, but it is just, look at, oh wow, it's even worse now. Huh, interesting. You know, what if, what if I put these on nothing? It doesn't seem to really change this at all. Okay, all right, I got one more. One more thing to try here. All of these are gonna be a max power hooked up to the switch as well. All right, so when I press this button, eight max power thrusters, two pistons, and two bearings hooked up into a controller are all, or they're all gonna to attempt to bend these uh, suspension pieces back towards me. All right, and three, two, one, go. It seems to be slightly more effective. Very, very slightly more effective. Okay, do you think this is gonna have any more of an impact? That's triple the thrust from the last attempt. Let's see what happens. And three, two, one, go. Whoa, that is something, isn't it? Now, just for the fun of it, let's see what happens if this is off the lift and go. Perfect landing. Bye. <laughs> Don't worry, I still got it. Okay, one more time though. One more time. It's so counterintuitive because having all the thrust up there 
the center of thrust should flip it backwards, but then you also get at the same time the suspension glitch, which is flipping it forwards. So uh, apparently this suspension glitch is more powerful than all of that thrust somehow. All right, well, I think we've concluded that the suspension and scram mechanic is extremely resistant to lateral flex, which is very, very different from how it functions in trail makers. So there's that. Okay, so now I want to see if stacking suspension like that and actually trying to make a legitimate suspension glitch to turn a platform. I want to see if it's stronger if we have more suspension in a line and how much of an effect that actually has. All right, so I'm just going to create a 17 by 17 square here. That'll give us a nice center point as opposed to the 16 by 16. All right, so to create the suspension glitch, I'm just going to put a block on a bearing like that, put the suspension on the block and then put another block on a bearing like that. So now if I just put this right on top, right in the center with it, and just hook it up to one bearing, I'm just gonna do one bearing for this to keep it simple so we're not like messing up which direction each bearing is going. Let's see how strong this feels. All right, so that's, that's, this is our base test. This is a single suspension used for a suspension glitch. Now I'm gonna create a pretty much identical platform very tediously, just like this, from scratch. Um, and this time, I'm gonna add more suspension. So it looks like, without going off the edge, I will be able to add two more suspension like this. So here, this is one side. I'm gonna put a bearing right there. Now there's gonna be no bearings on the middle parts because we only want the ends to have the bearings. So then we put bearing right there. Oh, and uh, I actually gotta do this on a lift so it also welds to... There we go. It'll weld to the uh, suspension as well. All right, so now putting a seat in the same exact spot, bearing hooked up the same way. Let's see if this feels faster or slower. No other changes. Does this feel slower to you guys? All right, we got to test this out here. Oh, it is definitely slower. Does that mean that it's weaker? I feel like there's a negligible amount of weight difference. We do have more pieces. Oh, you know what we can do? We can totally make this like actually identical by putting um, fake suspension pieces just to imitate the exact weight. There we go. But now these, these suspension pieces are not part of the glitch at all. These are just there for a placeholder. It does actually feel a little bit slower than when I, uh, when I had the normal ones. Oh, but look, it's a huge difference. To be honest, I was not expecting it to be weaker. I thought it might actually be stronger. Is that what you guys were, what were you guys expecting? I'm really curious if you were expecting it to be weaker, or if you're expecting it to be stronger. Let me know down in the comments below. Let's go one further. I'm gonna, just to confirm, I'm gonna duplicate this one now, and I'm gonna add another two suspension to it, which means I'm gonna have to add just a couple more blocks to accommodate that. All right, so for this, we're putting the bearing way, way back here. And then we just have suspension, hooked into suspension, hooked into suspension, hooked into suspension, hooked into suspension, and then one final block right there on a bearing. All right, so now that one's hooked up and ready to go. So let's do a quick comparison here. Here's our original one, single suspension glitch. There we go. Here is triple suspension glitch. Definitely a little bit slower. And now here is a uh, quintuple suspension glitch. Okay. I think the results are pretty clear. Stacking suspension will not get you more power in a suspension glitch. I actually, I didn't know what the results were gonna be at the beginning of this experiment. And I was kind of half expecting it to be uh, the opposite, the opposite results. So at least we have learned something. So now onto the experiment that I'm most looking forward to. I am just going to stack as much suspension on top of each other as this game is going to let me before my frame rate gets unbearable. So I think the best way to do this is going to be sideways. Yeah, we're gonna do it like this. And this is it, like this is pretty much it what we're doing. Oh, and I wanted to have them on zero. So I'm going to do, I think the best way to do this is just to duplicate this with all the suspension settings. And then I think I should be able to weld end to end. Yes, duplicate that. We're just going to go exponential increasing here. All right, this is taking me back to the days. Do you guys remember when I filled the entire map 
with uh, cubes and squares and bombs. And I did, I did a couple of filling the map episodes. This is pretty much the workflow right here. Just spawning in copies of stuff and welding it and spawning in copies of stuff and welding it. All right, let's see how this feels off the lift. Okay, not bad so far. Oh, there goes the lag, but that could be because of the contact with the ground. So let's weld this straight up. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is so fun. That is actually really fun. Let me do that again. All right, you see it's on the lift and then That is so cool. I'm getting zero actually zero lag. There's no lag happening at all. This is the longest piece of suspension I've ever seen in the scrap mechanic. Okay, we got to go further. Oh wait, here's a question. What happens if I weld this sideways? Wow, look, that is how resistant the suspension is. Oh, I gotta do another test here. I'm just, I'm thinking of more experiments as I do this. I'm just gonna put a giant uh, concrete weight on the end of this. Oh! <gasps> okay. Okay, this is more of what I was looking for. We just needed to stack more suspension before it started bending perpendicular. Oh, you know what's gonna be funny? Deleting this entire wall and having all that tension go away at once. Ready? And go! Okay, it wasn't nearly as extreme as I thought it was going to be. All right, back to duplicating. I'm a little bit concerned that um, the game is going to handle this better than I anticipated, and it's... It's just not gonna stop me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it's happening. Oh, it's happening right now. Oh, I think we've reached it. I think we've reached the limit. Okay, hold on. Okay, how many pieces of suspension is this? This is 160 pieces of suspension. Oh no. Oh, I went too far. I should have tested more. Okay, I need to, I need to get this thing vertical. All right, so what needs to happen? is after I take it off the lift, I need to catch this and weld it right there, like, immediately. Okay, are we ready? Come on. Come on, weld. Weld, I'm pressing the button. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> hey! Oh my goodness, here it comes. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> Oh, it's so interesting. Oh, it is lagging so bad. I definitely reached the limit. Wow, that happened real quick. I went from perfectly fine to your computer's about to blow up your house real quick. All right, what happens if I do this? All right, it just makes everything lag. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm surprised that suspension can handle all that. You know what? I really want to be at the top of this, but I don't think I can get there. I actually don't like, even if I put seats going all the way up, once I'm up there, I can't remove the lift. Well, all right, you know, I'm just gonna, here, here's my plan. I'm gonna delete blocks until my frame rate is okay. Okay, so I've deleted it down to 100 suspension pieces. Um, and it's still pretty bad. We're down to like 10 FPS now, but that's better than one. That is so cool looking though, isn't it? It has a weird illusion of, um, even though all of the pieces are stacking downwards, it gives an illusion that there's a line flowing upwards. Check it out. Yeah, see, it looks like all of the metal blocks, it looks like they're traveling upwards, but in reality, everything is compressing downwards. That's kind of a cool optical illusion. Oh, that is so weird. That is so cool though. Now, how how do I experience this from the top? Aha, I got an idea. I have this tower just on my lift. So I can weld this to the ground next to this. Put this on a lift. Oh, that's a lot taller than this is. Spawn another tower. Okay, you ready for this? Ready for this pro gamer move? Aha! Aha! Okay, so check it out. Now I can put a toilet on top of this thing. And if I get rid of... I just need to get this off of this... Here, if I just weld that to the side or something. There, now I have a platform here. All right, so now I can get in that seat and I can put my lift right here. So I can put my lift there, get in the seat, and we should be able to do this. Here we go. In three, two, one. Whee! 
we're pretty much just falling until we hit there we go until we hit the uh the bottom of the suspension compression you know i wish there was a button that i could press to change the strength of the suspension but that gives me a different idea what if what if i give this a uh piston that can raise up and down with the push of a button and then i can hook up the toilet eh. <laughs> i didn't attach it yet and then i can hook up the toilet to the button and the button to the thing now let's see does this even work oh <gasps> it works wait but the suspension i was hoping that when it comes back down oh it does that seems to actually have an impact all right you know we're trying this from the seat now you know we're trying this from the seat here we go getting in the seat all right we're compressing the seat does have the button hooked up. All right, ready? We're up and then down. Okay, this isn't working like I thought. I was hoping that the suspension would, you know, uh, like slinky itself, but it up here, oh no, we're falling over. This is probably gonna make the game lag out a lot more when this happens. Timber, timber. Okay, one more experiment. Um, I have a hundred of these to do, but I want to put all of these suspension on one strength, and then I want to put some thrusters at the top where the seat is pointed downwards, and then I can press a button to theoretically compress the suspension, and then we have some actual bouncy action going on. Oh no, it wasn't nearly enough. Oh no, it wasn't enough strength, guys. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would be enough strength. Okay, what if I put it all the way up? Okay, I think I need to... Dang it, I need to go all the way back down all 100 suspension and raise them up to their maximum level one strength. Okay, here we go again. So the seat does obviously compress because not all of the, I mean, not all of the suspension is, oh no, we're going to, we're going to tip over. I should have, I don't know, I guess I should weld it to the ground. Well, let's see what happens if I press the button here. Oh, yep. Oh, oh, there it goes. There goes the bending. Oh, this is interesting. It's gonna like flex us, but the thrusters are gonna keep tipping as a back in the opposite direction that we're falling. This might be like a weird self writing mechanism here because we are not attached to the ground. We could tip over at any moment. So now what happens if I let go of the thrust? Oh, there goes the suspension again. We're gaining altitude. This is so cool. Whoa. We're really gaining out. I think we just hopped. I'm pretty sure I saw the base get some altitude off the ground. This is, this is cool. This is what I was thinking about right here. All right, watch the base. Watch the base real close. Yep, you can see the shadow as the base lifts up off the ground. It gets so short. Oh no. Uh-oh. Oh, we're gonna fall over now. Or are we? This is so wild. Is this like an untippable... This might actually be untippable. This might be like a... It, it'll just keep waving back and forth. Because if I let go of the thrusters as I do this, we're totally gonna tip over now, right? Yeah, the base, <laughs> there's no way we're gonna stay upright. Yeah, the base is now tipping over, we're tipping over, everything's tipping over, so now what happens if I press the thrust? Ready? And here we go. We're compressing. Yeah, we can't stand up because the base isn't, um, it's, not per it's not parallel with the ground anymore. If the base is parallel with the ground though, I think this, these thrusters work as a auto, an automatic stealth writing device, which is really, really cool. All right, I've now made it so that there is a line of toilets that you can independently climb up the suspension tower without needing to have that annoying thing next to it. Um, because now this thing, it's, it supports itself, so you don't need to have it on the lift anymore when you get to the top of it. But yeah, this is probably one of the more unique interesting things I've created in Scrap Mechanic. I've had a lot of dumb ideas, but um, 
This is one of them. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed these experiments. Let me know if you have any other stuff like this that you'd like to see on the channel down in the comments below. If you guys should enjoy this, you probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel. You can check that out on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.